What's going on guys? Keen here back with another video. But today's video is going to be pretty short because I'm basically coming to the city for only a few hours. And the city which I'm currently in is called Bautzen. B-A-U-T-Z-E-N. It's a rather small city of approximately 40,000 people in Germany near the Polish border because I actually was just in the city by Poland. And uh, yeah, I didn't want to actually vlog, but then I'm seeing just how um, kind of quaint the city is and beautiful. I decided to pay, like record a few things that I'm seeing. So here I'm at the district administration office. So basically I think this is like the, the government seat here in the city and it's quite a nice building. And you can see you have quite a nice road coming from the train station, which I was just at. That's uh, lined with these nice trees, which leads into the old city. So um, I'm hoping to see some nice uh, kind of old buildings because a lot of the cities in this region were actually preserved from the Second World War, so they weren't destroyed. And because of that, they have a lot of older buildings as opposed to the bigger cities, which were all um, raised during the Second World War. So guys, I'm now on a bridge, which crosses over a stream. I think it's rather a stream, it's not really a river. You can see behind me, it's called the Spree, S-P-R-E-E. -E. And it's more of a valley, honestly, because you can see that most of the land that the bridge crosses here is just um, lower elevation ground. Whereas the stream itself is perhaps only like seven meters in width and it's really still water. I can't even see the water move. But some other cool things you can see behind me, you have this kind of castle and I'm gonna see if it's uh, possible to uh, kind of look around or maybe climb into it later on. But for now, I'm gonna cross the other side of the river and uh, yeah, check out the sights and uh, yeah, it's a really awesome city so far. So guys, that's the same castle you saw in the last clip, but as opposed to being way up there in the on the bridge previously, I have now descended to uh, essentially the water level and I'll actually be crossing back to the other side by means of that low level bridge. But I just wanted to show you that uh, although from the top, it looks like there's not much activity from the river. Actually here, you can see that there's this kind of staircase which shifts the water from one of the levels to another because it seems that there's two water heights here. Um, perhaps they got some uh, kind of dams going on, but uh, it's really beautiful. And you can see like, for example, there, there's a bunch of patios where there's these restaurants that are literally on the river. And there's kind of another one here where you see all of those umbrellas. So you can literally have your food and just be sitting on the side of this really beautiful uh, stream. And it's such a cool kind of vantage point because you literally have this castle here with the shaven cliff just behind you. And uh, yeah, like I think there's a lot of hidden gems similar to this town in Germany that probably don't get visited as much as the big cities. But to, in my opinion, it's just as uh, just as cool to see. Hi guys. So I actually crossed back to the other side that I was like the main side of the city. But then now I'm back on the other side by this third bridge. And uh, you can see that the stream is still here, but it is somewhat calmer since uh, there's none of those dams that you saw with the little levels that it caused a kind of a higher rate of current. But um, yeah, you can see there's another castle there. And in fact, I looked, apparently this path that you see um, through the grass leads to a viewpoint. And then there's a fourth bridge where I can get back once again to the main part of the city. So I'm gonna climb up this uh, path here and see how the viewpoint. Alright guys, so I climbed some elevation and I'm at the first vantage point. Um, it's kind of on this rock face and there's once again one of the castles and I really wanted to point out the cool design of the houses here. It's nothing special but you can see they're all kind of rowed together but then they have a very long narrow backyard which extends almost all the way to the stream which I find uh, quite uh, beautiful because it allows you a lot of space to garden and enjoy the nature. So guys, this is such a cool um, historic site. So this was the pillory house or like basically the detention center in Bautzen. And you can see here at the door frame, you have two iron chains, one there and one covered by that tree. And basically that's how somebody would be chained in form of a basically punishment. And in particular, apparently the quarrelsome woman of the region would be chained here. And also right there on the door frame it's very faint so i can't show it on the camera but it's written 1765 because that's the year this was built and the original door frame is still there but uh, it's interesting that they still have those um basically those iron rungs there that people would be chained to uh still existing of course those are probably replicas but 
it's an uh, interesting uh, kind of historic preservation. All right, guys. So I got distracted for a while. So that's like a theater and I think they're practicing because you can see the grandstand there, it's completely empty. And yeah, there's nobody there, but anyways, I was actually speaking with a gentleman because uh, it was raining and now we were sitting underneath the tree and I was speaking in German, it was good practice for me. But yeah, it's uh, become rainy as you can see and uh, it's cool to see them practicing there with no audience. So can I cut to watch that as a only uh, spectator but um i'm pr gonna head back to the uh what's it called the train station soon and it was a extremely good uh visit here in uh Bowsden. and yeah. so here i am from the other side of the stage that i was referring to but uh there's nobody performing anymore but these are all the stands i was referring to and it's interesting how much gravel and sand they essentially shifted here for the performance and then, of course, it's not a coincidence that the theater is right beside this uh, kind of um, non-permanent stage. And look at that uh, kind of facade that uh, was built there. That's very impressive. Um, representing some sort of philosophers or something like that, but extremely cool. All right, guys, and check it out. We're here at the main square. Of course, it's not as impressive as perhaps like the main square of a large city, um, but you still have some impressive buildings, a nice fountain and uh, a few kind of cafes along the, uh, along the square. So can't complain, it's a nice little area. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna make my way towards the train station and let you guys know if there's anything else interesting. That so I behind me, you have a very cool belfry. It's probably the tallest tower or building in the entire city if I had to guess. And uh, what else can you say? It's a nice little tower. It's always cool to see kind of in these tiny cities, the most impressive buildings are the remnants of the kingdoms or whatever sort of vestiges were living in the, or sorry, were existing in the area during medieval times. And since then they haven't really made any more buildings that were large. All right guys, and just like that, I've arrived at the main train station, uh, the only train station in fact. Um, so there's no need to kind of specify, but it's crazy. I was just in the main, the main city, the old city, 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago. And I thought I couldn't make my train because of the fact that, uh, it's far away. But when you're in a city of only 40,000 people, everything is so close. You could get there by foot and yeah, it's really no worries. So, uh, I got to see the entire city in like two hours and, uh, overall very satisfied with my little excursion.